Hey guys, what is going on? It is Woods here, and today we are going to be doing a settings video. Since the 10.40 update, they added in new sensitivity and advanced settings. Uh, but honestly, I switched back from that. So I used to play, I tried it for maybe like a day, and I switched back to Legacy. So uh, I went to the bottom here and I went uh, use Legacy look controls and I turned that on. So that allowed me to adjust my old settings. So I'm going to be doing a settings video on Legacy because that's what I play with now. So if you're looking to play on advanced, this might not be the video for you. But anyway, let's get right into it. Controller, sensitivity. Actually, let's go back here. Uh, I'll do this really quick. 10 or 240 I play far off medium low low medium v-sync off motion blur on show fps on all right let's get right into this so controller sensitivity my x is 8.30 I've been upping that gradually for maybe the last month I think I started at 0.5 or something like that so 0.830 uh, for my x and y controller targeting sensitivity is 0.350 controller scope sensitivity is 0.551 I've had these two the same for a long time Controller building sensitivity, I have 1.973. I'm actually going to up that all the way. Uh, so 2.00. Controller edit mode sensitivity, 1.861. Um, if I go down, HUD scale, 0 0.85. Sprint by default, I have on. Tap to search, slash interact, I have on. Reset building choice, on. Aim assist, on. Edit mode, aim assist, I play with that off. Turbo building, on. Auto open doors on, auto sort consumables to the right on, that's that's really nice to have for early game. Builder Pro, build immediately, obviously you're going to want to have that on. Controller edit hold time, I have all the way down as low as it can go. Vibration, I do have off, I used to play with that on but I switched it. Colorblind mode, I don't even know how to pronounce that, I say this in every settings video because I play on the same thing but it's this one with a colorblind strength of 3 for my controller binds what i have is playstation 4 obviously custom um let's go right through every one of these so place marker down on the d-pad map right on the d-pad this isn't too important this is important so touchpad edit right stick crouch slash repair jump is x circle is my pickaxe reload as square switch mode is triangle so that's my builds edit again is touchpad this is all the same. Down on the D-pad is rotate my stair or whatever. Jump X, circle, toggle, pickaxe. Square, trap picker, slash, place, slash, interact. Triangle again, switch mode. Now, edit controls up here. My L1 is my reset. Triangle is my confirm. And R1 is my select. So a lot of people have R2, but I like R1 because it feels a lot faster. It's more of a click instead of a trigger like R2, unless you have like trigger stops or something like that. But... It's kind of that idea. So R1 is select, triangles confirm, L1 is reset. Crouch slash repair as my right stick. And I think that's pretty much it. My dead zone 0 0.10, my right stick 0 0.9. I've had that the same for a while. Uh oh, what'd I do? All right, let's save it, whatever. So guys, I just want to make this video quick. I have a couple videos I want to get done today. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a comment, leave a like, leave any suggestions for future videos. And we out. Peace, guys.